haven't been asked to talk about the future. I guess I'm supposed to tell you about how hard we work to try to make a better future. But let's be real. I bet every criminal said the same thing at their graduation. The fact is that most of us won't contribute to changing things for the better. Why should we? It seems that when anyone speaks of reality or does something not considered normal by society, they are punished. I found that out this year. Why is it that everyone likes to cover up the truth and pretend that everything is perfect? Let's take this graduation for instance. Most of us did not work hard as we should uh, through high school. Most of us just party and did the least amount of work to allow for a passing grade. Here we are today, celebrating. Did you know that we lose most of our constitutional rights in schools? We have no freedom of speech, no freedom of press, no freedom to express ourselves by wearing the clothes we want. Our lockers are searched. without consent, but worst of all, we are found guilty without a trial. If you hit someone in self-defense, if you hit someone in self-defense, you're suspended. If they can't protect us, why can't we why are we punished for protecting ourselves? In preparation for tonight, I had to write two speeches because I knew that I had no freedom of speech here. One speech was given to the office to be sent screen. It says everything that people want. Isn't that sad? Do I not have a brain that allows me to express myself? Why do I need someone to say if my opinion is okay for the public? Yet they tell us that we are the future. But whose future is it? I'm inviting all my fellow graduates to make it ours. We need to listen to no one but God. Who are they to say what's wrong and right? Are they God? If they are right, why is everything so wrong? If our ancestors had followed the rules, there wouldn't be any America. I invite everyone to be an individual and stop following the crowd. If you think something, something is wrong, change it. Do not just pay a lip service. Do not change your beliefs because someone tells you that you are wrong. Follow your heart. The racism must end. When we die, we are all going to either heaven or hell, regardless of our color or our skin. people for who they are and what they do, not for their color. A racist doesn't hurt any race but his own by publicizing his ignorance. Seniors, our forefathers have put this world into a terrible condition, but let us work with every ounce of life we have to make it better, because if we at least make an effort, God will be sure to reward us. Good luck to everyone and never give up trying. John, this is for you. Thank you and God bless.